Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So just a quick kitting down and completion review today. Uh, this is my balloons canvas from Craft Buddy Crystal Art. Um, it was a pre-framed canvas. It's stretched already and it is officially licensed for, to Craft Buddy Crystal Art. It's a 30 by 30 canvas and it is a true to size and it's a full drill. So there you are. That's the housekeeping out the way. <laughs> Yep, 30 centimetres that way, which is 12 inches by 30 centimetres that way, which is 12 inches. So, yeah, very, very nice canvas to do. Um, I didn't take the plastic cover off. I did work with the plastic cover on, so I had no issues with parts not being sticky. Um, I did say when I, I was doing this canvas and the donkey one that I'm going to do this one with the clear cover on that it came with and I'm going to do the donkey by replacing the cover with the little cover sheets that you can get because I have found in the past some of my canvases have had patches where it's not been sticky and I was wondering if it's because I'm taking off the clear cover sheet maybe that's doing something to the canvas maybe not but it's worth a try but this is really, really, for a small canvas, the colours that are packed into it, the sparkle that you get, because these are uh, resin gems. Craft Buddy only do use resin gems. And the detail is just wonderful. I love the patterns on the balloons. This one's like a random pattern. Uh, this one's like zigzags and then this one's like your sort of patchwork, like your squares there. And then you've got all your other little balloons in the background. It's a massive balloon festival, that one, isn't it? Just absolutely wonderful. I love that. So, yeah, this one is a present uh, to one of my friends. Um, he is retiring. So, yeah, and he likes balloons. So, well, he says he likes balloons. I'm hoping it's hot air balloons and not the ones that you blow up yourself in like party balloons. <laughs> I'm going to look pretty silly if it's not hot air balloons, but I am banking on it being this. And to be fair, he's probably too polite to say to me, no, it's not that sort of balloon I like. <laughs> okay, so plenty of drills left over on this one. It was... 28 colours and they are all round Um, I didn't have a 30 storage container case to put the drills in when I kitted up so it did go in my 60 storage case so I'll be quite glad to get this one kitted down so that I've got my 60 uh, case back again so I can put something else in it because I have been buying some bigger kits and I am going to get round to them I am going to get round to them <laughs> So that's my little legend there. I'll just pop that back in the top for now and we'll get putting these away. Okay, grab a tray because you know what I'm like with spilling. If they can go everywhere, they will. And we've got box number one in my spare drills. Just put box number two out of the way a moment. Okay. So, this is my storage based on Admo Zest. Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147. Uh, you can buy a lot of the bits and pieces to make your storage, spare drill storage like this from her uh, site, admozest.com. Um, or you can go onto her YouTube channel and you can see her getting all this set up and how it all works. But basically, for every DMC code, or as far as I know, every DMC code that there is, I have a little piece of card with the DMC number on. And then behind that piece of card, I have a little bag um, that I put the colour drills in that relates to that number. And I have round stickers for my round drills. And then I also have two boxes with squares on, identical to this, but they have square stickers for square drills. And it just makes it so much easier kitting down because you know you've got somewhere to put every colour that you've got unless your bags are full. And then that's a whole other issue. <laughs> OK, so we are starting at 166 on this one. So that's quite a high number to start with. OK, but they're all beautiful, 
um not sunny colours but nice bright colours, real happy colours. Yeah, happy colours. We'll stick with happy. <laughs> So I hope everybody is doing okay and that you are all well. Um, we've had a quietish week. We've been gardening. Um, we've been looking at new cars. Uh, as I've, uh, you've been following me a while. Oh, 310. Let me just get my th big bag of 310 out. It's quicker because I know that the 310 bag in there is full. This bag in here is full. And I do have a second bag that I've started. So let's get these put in this one. Okay, so I have got projects that uh, are coming up. Uh, unless you've already seen it, that will be hopefully using some of my three tens, or maybe not, depending on what everybody decides for me. You'll have to wait to see that video to see. <laughs> so, yeah, um, we have um, a large car. It's a, a Vauxhall Caddy because at the time we ordered it, um, Hubby had only had his first illness, only had his first illness. Um, and he was starting to get stronger. He was starting to get that little bit better. Um, and... At that time as well, we were supposedly getting this huge wheelchair that weighed 12 stone. So we needed a car that would take a hoist that would be able to lift um, 12 stone into the back of the car and everything. And as things have gone along, Hubby has been um, back in hospital seriously ill again uh, twice. Um, yeah, it does now have leukaemia as well. So things have changed a lot. He's nowhere near as strong as he was. Um, for getting into a bigger car so we needed a different car and we rang up because we do um, with his disability we do get uh, the car to use uh, free and um, we get like a motability in the UK uh, and he qualifies for that so we've uh, been using that to pay for the car which is a big big help because uh, they're very expensive toys, our cars. Goodness me. Um, apologies if you really, really like cars. But to be honest, I don't mind what it's like. Um, I can appreciate a really nice car. But if I need a car, then I'm quite happy. Whatever I'm in, as long as it gets me from A to B, it's reliable. It's comfy enough and I can get in and out of it. <laughs> then I'm not really too fussed about what it looks like or what make or model it is if it's one of the cheaper models that people turn their noses up at doesn't bother me so yeah so anyway we've um they've agreed that we can come out because you're supposed to keep the car for three years but because our circumstances have changed and the car we have at the moment just isn't suitable anymore um it's too high for hubby to get into it was fine when he was stronger when we first ordered it i mean we ordered it in the September and it didn't come till the following May anyway with lockdown and everything uh, and by that time he'd been um, seriously poorly again in hospital in the March and April of that year so you know even when we got it it wasn't really suitable but we've struggled on and as I say this year we've just got to a point where we don't want to struggle anymore we don't want to have to try and manage and um, we're asking for help and uh, getting things changed to make our lives easier, to make, you know, hubby's life more bearable um, and more, oh, I don't like the word normal, but you know what I mean. More livable, easier, shall we say, a little bit easier. And that little bit of difference does make a big difference uh, in the long run. So, yeah, so we've been out looking at cars and it's not as easy as you expect. Um we want we we need an automatic car because hubby hopefully will be able to drive at some point in the future and oh that squares look i've got there so i've got those the wrong way around 580 oh nice squares as well oh look at this so does that one squares as well yeah that one squares i've missed some look 
I can't have possibly used these colours otherwise. Uh, yeah, I would have seen that. So, and 5.63. So let me grab my square box number one. And hopefully the rounds of these numbers are in the square box. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't concentrating when I did this part. But you see, that's helped me because with having the stickers on those squares, I know these are squares. Yay. So where did we start? Uh, 5.63. Look how much neater and nicer these are. Um, these pieces of card were pre-cut and bought from uh, Admore Zest from Rebecca's site. And the little stickers were also bought from there as well. So you can see how lovely and neat this is compared to the one that I did sort of DIY'd it myself. So yeah, I do like my neater one better. But to be fair, this one hasn't got as many drills in it either. This one is getting rather full. So it makes it a little bit scruffy because it's uh, fuller. Right, so we want, what did I say? 563. It's 562. 563, look, it's there. So 563 is round. Pop that behind that one and put the square one in there. And five six four is that one so put that one in there and take that square one out of there and put it in there and it was uh, Jeanette one of my subscribers that suggested I did this I'll keep the 580 out because that's the colour that we're doing um because I did actually put so when I had them all together had all squares and all rounds in the same box um, behind the same piece of card and I did occasionally put the uh, wrong drills in the wrong bag so by separating them out I know that these are the squares and these are the rounds so I know which boxes to get when I'm kitting down all right five eight one it makes it less likely to make mistakes well hopefully she says <laughs> so that's five nine seven so I've done quite a few of these wrong that's very naughty of me Five, nine, seven. I've probably gone and made a coffee and then started at 600 or something and not realised I've not finished off the end of the 500s. But it's easily rectified and when it's organised like this, you can soon sort it out. And now we're back to the 600s. Yeah, and that's squares. Yeah, and this one um, actually has the little dividers with like the 500, 800 and everything on to make it easier. Um, to find your numbers but this one there's not enough room in here this is too full to be able to put those in okay which is another reason why this one looks a little bit neater so go back to 580 <laughs> after that brief little interlude of um seeing how not to diamond paint number 241 and now i'm pouring these into the jar instead of pouring the jar the bottle into the bag Oh dear, it's just another day in the Harrison household. <laughs> All right, so pop this one away. Okay, that was a lovely, like, sagey green colour. And we are now on 603, so we're into the 600s. I say this is very, very full. I am going to have to sort these out a little bit. As you can see a lot of the bags are very full as well. I do tend to prefer round canvases, round drill canvases. Um, I don't dislike squares, I don't mind doing squares at all, but I tend to find a lot of my squares are double-sided tape, and I don't like doing double-sided tape. Um, I do struggle. Again, I will do them, and I have got quite a lot to do, but uh, I do prefer my poured glue. And a diamond paint because it relaxes me. Oh, not many of those left. So they'll definitely go in these bags. Um, and I don't really mind. As long as I like the picture um, and it's easy to do, quick and easy to do, which rounds are, then I'm quite happy to just sit and dot away. And um, it doesn't matter to me. If I have to start struggling with it, then no, I'm not interested in it. <laughs> I'm getting picky. <laughs> Mind you, I do have a lot to choose from. 
um, going through this listing all of my drills, uh, all of my canvas drills, all of my canvases um, and seeing how old some of them are. Uh, yeah, I've realised how many I've got and uh, yeah, I'm doing it all upstairs. Uh, I did start when I first started uh, labelling them all and writing them all down and I write down where they were from and when I got them and how many drills there are and whether they're in the 200 bags or whether they're in the snake or you know whatever I've, I've got that much detail on them why i don't know it's just something that i've done um and yeah i said i did start taking them downstairs and then hubby was like how many of them have you got and i hated to say well this is just one category i've got more of these in another category <laughs> I tend to do it all upstairs now with the excuse that I need the space <laughs> and I don't want Millie really running all over them because I'd have to do them on the floor downstairs whereas upstairs I can put them on the bed <laughs> it's just a little white lie <laughs> well no it's not a white lie I mean I do need the space and I don't want Millie trampling over them but the main reason is I don't want him to see how many I've got oh dear what was it um one of uh, my friends once said, or I saw written somewhere, that um, yeah, if anything ever happens to me and I pass away, don't ever let my hubby sell my uh, craft things for the price I told him the cost. <laughs> oh dear, it just always makes me laugh, yeah. Oh, how much did that one cost? Oh, it wasn't a lot. Oh, it was on special offer. Oh, there was a coupon for it. Oh, it was on sale. <laughs> Mind you, to be fair, he's the same when he buys stuff as well. I think we're all a little bit... Yeah, I mean, to be fair, we've got a, a joint bank account, so we know what we spend and we know what we get. He just likes pulling my leg. And he just makes his little protest, I think. I'll let him have his little protest. I don't mind. You have a protest, do you? I'm not bothered. <laughs> Mind you, it doesn't mean then I can't say, what on earth have you bought that for to him? So, yeah. And with um, lockdown and everything that we had, and um, we've not been on holiday now, we've not been away for three years. So, uh, I mean, you know, obviously our lives have changed, our income has changed considerably. But uh, we've not really been spending great amounts. Uh, and I do think, you know, you go out for a coffee or a meal or whatever and the amount that you spend, well, it's gone, isn't it, once you've had it? But a uh, diamond painting is forever. <laughs> well, nearly. So, yeah, and I get enjoyment out of buying them do actually get enjoyment out of looking at them but it has been quite a revelation actually listing how many I've got it's like oh my goodness oh my goodness let me know in the comments how many you think I've got bearing in mind I have unboxed most of them on camera um yeah I don't go through and count them up on my videos and see how many I have unboxed but I have done quite a lot as well and I have given a lot away um and I did uh, send some um, that haven't been done. I did send some through to charity and I will be sending some more through as well. Um, I've looked through and also I've got <laughs> a few duplicates. <laughs> Obviously liked it so much I bought it twice. Or in one case three times. <laughs> Which is why I decided I need to sort them out and get them listed. Because when I'm skimming through websites and looking at them and they're calling my name saying, Liz, Liz, buy me. You know that you think I'm absolutely wonderful and that would just look so nice on that wall in that room. Uh, or, or your friend or your relative would really, really like me and please buy me. Yeah, is that just me? <laughs> I start on the tablets next week. Only kidding, only kidding. <laughs> but yeah, um, I have got a 
a lot and I just thought I'm going to have to sort them all out into some sort of order. So yeah, they're all actually now in date order and all listed and all the drills have got matching little stickers on, um, all in the folders to say this one and that. So I know which box they're all in and they're all in date order too. It does make finding them an awful lot easier. Right. It's also easier as well if somebody... Um, watches one of my older videos and says oh can you give me the details of this or can you tell me where you got this from I can just look on my list and I can say yeah I can because <laughs> I've got it listed and I know where it was from okay right another little bit of a scruffy box but anyway after seeing now my square box next to my round box i'm like oh, i want to do this one nice and pretty as well <gasps> look this is squares as well what have i done oh look actually have i got these as oh there's some spare bags there that's good um are these all squares have i put the lid on the squares no they're all rounds oh my goodness me right so what have i done here so that's a square and that's a square. So I've missed all these squares as well. Why have I done that then? Okay, so I need squares, box number two. So now I've got to look at my pretties next to my squares again. Oh, look. Look how nice and neat and lovely they are compared to these. <sighs> Maybe... Uh, the magic drill fairy will come one night and do them all for me. <laughs> so, 8.90. Oh, no, an 8.90 is in box number one for my squares. Look. Okay, I thought I'd actually done them so that they were the same. but Oh, no, because, yeah, there's more of those. Right, so I'll put these away in this one. And put these in the right place and then I'll see about swapping these drill packets over again. <gasps> Do you know, you think you've done a job and I've only done half a job. Start calling me half a. <laughs> hey dear. All right. I wonder why I've never come across it before. It's obviously just these colours that I've uh, not kitted down. Right, so 8.30, just move those stickers so they don't get stuck on there. I'll move those little bags because I can use those later. I wonder why I left those in there as well. That's really strange. So I want 8.30. So 8.30 round, swap it with 8.30 square. And 8.31, swap it with 8.31 round. See, it does work having the different shaped stickers on. I might never have noticed if it didn't have the different shaped stickers. So thank you, Rebecca. It's uh, your stickers and your system that I'm using. And it's just saved me probably a lot of grief. <laughs> Okay, 8.33, 8.34, I wouldn't mind, but they were all in the same box, so I must have just had a, a brain freeze or something that's just said, oh right, there you go in there, because I was just literally taking the squares out, because I made the squares, yeah, look. I've put, I've kitted squares down into that one because I've not noticed that that was actually a round packet rather than a square packet. But I am not going to sit and pick all those out now. They will just have to stay there for now. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, so back on rounds again. Three, nine. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I literally... They were all mixed up and I left the rounds where they were and made the new box for the squares. So for whatever reason, I've picked the rounds out to put in the squares box. Okay, so yeah, these are rounds as well. So three nines back to squares. 
and oh, I've got two bags of three nine. Now, what have I done now? No, no, three eight three nine. Oh, going barley. Three eight three nine is square now. Yes, getting it right. This is what I've probably done. Just been not concentrating. Must try harder, Liz. Must try harder. <laughs> Oh dear. Anyway, so 41 is square, so 41 goes in there. At least I'm not having to rebag them or anything or relabel them, they are all labelled. 42 is in there. Right, it's a riveting video, this one for you, watching me swapping plastic bags over with plastic beads in. Uh, that one, I've got rounds and squares in that one as well. Oh, this is because I just sit and waffle on, isn't it, when I'm uh, defitting and things. I've not been watching what I'm doing. So, oh, 8.50. Oh, no. No, that's just a marker for 8.50. There isn't actually an 8.50. 8.68 we don't have. But I've still, well, I don't have in squares, but I do have in rounds. So that's one that uh, needs swapping over. 868 is empty there. 869. 869. Six, square there. Six nine round. We know we've just done. Oh, can't get me yeah. nails in between there. We know we've just done eight ninety. So oh, and we're into the next box now. Okay. How bizarre. <laughs> so right. So eight ninety one. I'm going to swap that one over. And it's 892. Yeah, that one wants swapping over. 893. Yeah, that one wants swapping over. Oh dear. Oh, that wants to go behind 83. I've just put it in there. 84. 894. Swapping over. Gosh, how many of these have I done wrong? Actually, I might leave this and come back and do this later because it looks like I've got... Oh, my goodness. In fact, I think I've probably missed the whole of this row. So, yeah, rather than have you watching me <laughs> doing this, um, I'll do the ones that I'm coming across as I'm de-kitting, but the others I'll have to come back and swap them all over. Um, and I'll do that off camera here. Yeah, even... Oh no, that's round. So where have I gone up to? No, that's they're all round. So it's up to the nine hundreds then. So for whatever reason, from nine hundred, so it's all the eight nines. Yeah, so I'll just finish those off, um, off camera, so you're not having to watch them <laughs> mess about. So that's eight ninety one. Well, that's around. Okay. Oh, well, anyway, I'll sort them out. So that's right. So that's right. I don't know. Have I got them all right now, then? Oh, no, because I've just swapped them all over. <laughs> oh, dear. The joys of being a diamond painter and being on a video oh joe <laughs> if you make a mistake it's not a secret anymore <laughs> so this weekend we have millie's little friend lottie little Lott uh, lottie the shih tzu is coming to stay so that will be fun uh, hopefully we'll be out and about because it's been lovely weather and uh, yeah, we filled the car out today 
and uh, Millie's been bouncing all over and chasing the hoover and oh we've had a Thomas standoff so I'll put a little bit of video at the end of um, the Thomas standoff yeah uh, he was sat in a bush and he sort of half came out when he saw us and then he saw Millie and she just sat down and looked at him and then Thomas did as, to as cats do and just started washing himself and pretending that he just wasn't interested at all. Uh, if you've not uh, heard before, Thomas is the little deaf and silent cat that we have living around. Um, and Millie used to chase him until one day she crept up on him and made him jump and he turned around and battered her. <laughs> so she doesn't go near him anymore. She learnt her lesson. And I did say to her, he'll get you, he'll get you. He's not going to put up with you jumping on him. And uh, sure enough, he did. He battered her. So there's sort of like a, a, a tolerance of each other now. And she just sits there willing him to run so she can chase after him. And he just sits there looking at her saying, if you think I'm going to run so you can chase me? Nah, it's not happening. Absolutely not. <laughs> it's a bit like Tom and Jerry in this house some days. Or in this street some days, should I say. But yeah, so that was quite funny. Um, he did decide to start walking off and she did pretend to chase him. And then he just turned around and looked at her and uh, she just sort of like stopped in the tracks and thought, he's going to get me. And then she just came back over to me and said, yeah, you see, you've just got to stay away from him. He won't play with you. He's a cat. And he's quite a bit older than she is as well. She's still in puppy phase. She's five, but she's still definite puppy mode. Um, yeah, he... <laughs> He won't tolerate her. Okay, and then three, eight, six, five. Oh, there's only about four in this. We'll just squidge them in this pack rather than getting another pack out. Okay, so another kitten down, all finished. Well, not quite finished for me because I'm going to have to sit and uh, swap these over from this side to that side. But other than that, worse things happen. And only a couple of them have got the wrong drills in. <laughs> so that's my six day storage case. All ready to be reused. Yay! I've been waiting for a big one so that I can get uh, a bigger canvas done. And I can get that picture gifted to my friend. A tray away. My little uh, key code will go in my finished... Uh, items logbook and I'll keep these out because I'll finish these off uh, before I put them away but I will leave you now I say I'll put a little video of uh, Millie and Thomas a bit of a standoff between each other at the end of the video so if you've enjoyed this video a thumbs up is always much appreciated and if you want to come back and see what I get up to next see what mistakes I can make and if you press that subscribe button and the all the notifications bell next to it you'll be notified when any of my videos come out so thanks ever so much for stopping by and i do hope to see you all again soon bye for now this is thomas over there in the bush are we having a standoff you're just watching him see where he moves oh, do -do -do -do, thomas He's just stood there. <laughs> Is he watching you, Millie? Is he just watching you? You're trying to get the hoover. You're trying to get it. Oh, you don't know what to do now, do you? There's a hoover in the car. And there's a Thomas over there. <laughs> I'm not going to chase him because he battered me last time. <laughs> What's he doing, Millie? Is he just sat there looking at you? Hey. You don't want to play. Sat in Pat's bushes. <laughs> He's going.